Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about ticker symbol HOFV. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have already. I really appreciate it. So today we're going to be talking about some recent news that came out last week, and then short interest, of course, and then we will come back to the, tr the charts at the end. So Michael, the CEO, announces that Heisman Trophy winner and Pro Football Hall of Fame and trainee Tim Brown is set to launch his first NFT that will go live on OpenSea starting May 17th, so coming up in eight days from now if we see here open c is the world's first and largest digital marketplace for crypto collectibles and nfts so once again that's going on sale may 17th nfts featuring heisman to hall of fame legends earl campbell doke walker and others will soon follow so there's going to be more and more nfts it'll be interesting to see how much this first one sells for tim brown is a pretty popular uh pro pro uh former former pro football player sorry so also news we we announced a multi-year partnership with american standard they're going to do all the plumbing and faucet work for all the stuff that is in the hall of fame resort village if we start looking at some short interest here this utilization is at 100 percent, and that is the how many lendable shares are already out to be lent so as you can see here it's been 100 basically since april 19th so that's how they've been able to manipulate the stock price down probably having to naked short it a whole bunch and still they will have to purchase these synthetic shares and per put them into the market as we see yesterday or on friday it was a uh, 41 percent earlier in the week 57 so really trying to keep this thing down if we look at shortablestocks.com 39 percent here on uh the on friday sorry so if we look at the futures here it's it's looking pretty green overall on the board obviously not a telltale sign you can't tell exactly what's going to happen from that but still if we kind of look at some charts here I'm kind of expecting a bull market because we've kind of had those inflation numbers, CPI, and unemployment numbers come out. We see that stuff isn't getting raised. There's So maybe the fears will go away until the start of next month. So maybe we can see a, a week or two here worth of green since the futures are a little green. I'm hoping so. If so, we should get a, I was really surprised we broke under this 350. We didn't fall under 331. So we should start working our way up. If you remember just a couple weeks ago, we were testing these up in these mid fours, trying to get up to this fives. And I think that would be really relatively easy once we get over this 470 mark so just keep that in mind once we start this uptrend and get over these fours the few the fours we move through pretty quick and gapped up so hopefully that will be the same case next time and start working on these fives as you can see here not a ton of volume so short just easily able to manipulate us down using those uh fake shares so as you can tell here we shouldn't downtrend anymore if we do, we might test uh, this 313, 303s. That would be looking pretty bearish, of course. If an uptrend starts, look for this break over 361. And then we should start getting into this 370s. And then if we can get up to this 406, should be pretty quick up to 425. Uh, and then kind of onwards from there, we'll cover that probably later in the week. So if we start this uptrend, I think we should at least get up to these high threes. If not, maybe close and uh, hold over this $4 range. That would be a pretty promising day tomorrow. Pretty bullish market. Hopefully so with the market green don't let these shorts fool you as you can see 100 percent utilization they are definitely here that it's been that way since april 19th as i stated shorting it just a, a big percentage i'm sure a lot of these are naked shorts so that causes the stock price to go down even more as you see here nfts going on sale may 17th so be on the lookout for that we're always announcing news it's it's pretty relevant we do that a, a ton just a ton of recent news hopefully we can start seeing a a little bit more about this fantasy league i'm really interested in that so be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be staying pretty up to date with this one. And I'll see you all next time.